Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. The traditional spring roll is an all-time favorite in every Filipino family gathering. This popular snack is made by rolling vegetables inside thin wrappers. Interested in making this appetizing snack? Watch on to find out more. Sani Bonani is hello in Siswati, one of the official languages used in the kingdom of Eswatini, Amario. Lovely Eswatini is glad to know that you lead a noble life wherever you are under the glory and the protection of the true heavens. Welcome to our show featuring Filipino delicacies. Last Sunday, vegan chef Reina Montenegro showed us how to cook the delicious Filipino dish kare kare. Today, she will share with us another traditional recipe, vegan lumpia, a spring roll that is very popular in the Philippines. Vegan chef Reina was born in the Philippines and moved to the San Francisco Bay area in 1997. Following her passion for food, Chef Reina started her cooking career as a personal chef in 2012. In 2016, she opened her first restaurant, Nick's Kitchen, which became the first Filipino vegan restaurant in the peninsula. Today, Chef Reina owns two popular Filipino vegan restaurants in the Bay Area, namely Nick's on Grand and Nick's on Mission. In her years of cooking, vegan Chef Reina has created dishes for the Honorable Jean Kwan, Mayor of Auckland, Tom Bates, Mayor of Berkeley, and the late Ed Lee, former mayor of San Francisco. She also catered for events at Apple, NASA, Uber, Twitter, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock Investments, and more. Hi, my name is Reina, and I'm the chef of Nixon Grand and Nixon Mission. We specialize in vegan Filipino cuisine, and today we're going to show you how to make vegetable lumpia. So my ingredients are flour, mushroom powder, black pepper, some water, salt, soy sauce, oil, mixed vegetables, cabbage, and some wrappers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop a cabbage. We're only going to use half of this cabbage, so we're going to cut it in half. And we're going to just shred it, just like so. Make sure that you don't add the core. This one doesn't have a core, so we got lucky. So after chopping, we're going to start cooking. So I'm going to heat the pan up to about medium to high heat. We're going to add some oil in the pan. About two tablespoons. And then we add our mixed vegetables. From here, we can add our cabbage. And don't worry about the cabbage because it's going to wilt down. So while this is cooking, we're going to add soy sauce. We're going to add some mushroom powder. some pepper, you can also use any vegetables you like. Some people use hikama, some green beans in here, but this is just the basic um, traditional vegetables we use. 
after seven to eight minutes, it's gonna look like this. And what we're trying to do is wilt the vegetables and take all the liquid from it. So when we start rolling these, they won't be soggy. So this is pretty much done. And turn off the heat and we'll put it in our bowl to cool down. So important thing is we need to cool this down before wrapping so it doesn't go through the wrapper. So while we're waiting for this to cool, we can make our slurry for our wrappers. And the reason why we use a slurry is so that it stays intact when we fry the actual lumpias. So it's just an equal part of water and flour and all you do is just mix it all together until you get all the lumps out. So these are just made out of flour and water. You can get these at most Asian markets but also main, main grocery stores. Just make sure when you look in the back of the package that it definitely doesn't have any dairy or anything that you know makes it not vegan. Most of these are only made of flour and water. So we made a water and flour paste right here and make sure that there's no clumps. So just stir it, stir it, stir it until you don't see any more clumps. Lovely viewers, we will take a moment to pray for a vegan world where all co-inhabitants can enjoy a happy and healthy life. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We'll be right back. Charming viewers, now that Chef Reyna has finished preparing the fillings, she will share with us the technique of wrapping and rolling the vegan lumpia. The next step is to roll our lumpias. Do you remember the mixture we did earlier when we stir fried the vegetables? We'll take a tablespoon of that, we'll put it in the center of our wrapper, and the trick is we're going to roll this thing really tight. And the reason why we're rolling this really tight is because we, when we fry it, we don't want the oil to go inside the roll. And when you bite into it, the oil just comes out of your mouth. So we're going to roll this really tightly. So the way you do that is you fold it over the vegetables and you're going to pull it back until you feel it, that it's tight. And you're going to roll it all the way to the middle and we're gonna fold it like a letter. And then you continue on rolling. And once you reach the end here, that's where your flour and water mixture comes to stick it, just like that. Okay, so there you go. And make sure you don't put too much of the mixture because you don't want that wet. So I'm gonna do another one. There you go. And you know when it's right, when it's tight. See, when you touch it like this, it's tight. Okay, we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna start frying. Just remember, only a tablespoon, not too much, because you don't wanna overfill your lumpia. So we're gonna fold it, tuck it back, roll, 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 fold, fold, Roll again, and flour and water in the edge to seal, and there you go. We're gonna start frying right now. So just pan frying, so a little bit of oil and medium high heat right here. And what we're really doing here is we're just heating up or cooking the, the shell, because the insides are already cooked. You can also deep fry if you like. People like it deep fried. If you want to use less oil, you can just pan fry it like this. You're probably going to take two or three minutes on each side. We're really looking for like a light brown to medium brown color. And some people will eat this with soy sauce or soy sauce and vinegar. Sometimes only just soy sauce and maybe some hot sauce. Some people like it really dark brown. Um, I like it well done, but you can do whatever you like. 
And you can actually roll a bunch of these and put it in the freezer and then once you're ready to make some for a party or just for your dinner, you can just fry them directly from the freezer. I would suggest just, you know, turning them until they brown on each side. It would be easier if you would actually deep fry these because they will cook evenly. But it's okay. This will work too. So once all sides are done, like I can see that most of these are done now. We're going to take them off and put it in our paper towel. I would wait to eat this until it's cooled down because you don't want to burn yourself. So to garnish this dish, we're going to use some arugula and put it in a plate. You can also use whatever vegetable you like that looks prettier. And for the sauce, we're using soy sauce and sambal. They're, it's a chili paste. Add it in with your soy sauce. And then we put it on the side here. And then we plate it. You can plate it however you like, but make it look pretty and appetizing. And you can enjoy your vegetable lumpia. All right, let's check it out. Dip it in the sauce. Mmm, so crunchy and delicious. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. This is the vegetable lumpia that we serve actually at our restaurants. Try to make it yourself. Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the vegetable lumpia, the ingredients are two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one cup of mixed vegetables, carrots, corn, peas, and green beans. 2 cups of shredded cabbage, 2 to 3 tablespoons of soy sauce or to taste, 1 teaspoon of mushroom powder, salt and pepper to taste, lumpia or spring roll wrappers, paper thin variety from Asian store, 2 to 3 cups of vegetable oil or just enough to cover the rolls for pan frying. For the slurry, the ingredients are 1 tablespoon of water, 1 tablespoon of flour. For the dipping sauce, vegan, the ingredients are 1 cup of soy sauce, one fourth of a cup of white vinegar, a pinch of red pepper flakes, optional, pepper to taste, sambal to taste. For more information about vegan Chef Reina and the Nick's Kitchen, please search at Chef Reina Montenegro on Facebook. Fantastic viewers, thank you for joining us on our show today. Try making some of these crispy golden brown delightful lumpias with your family and friends and you will have lots of fun making and eating them. May your lives be filled with immense blessings, good health and happiness. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour des recettes véganes internationales gratuites et voir les langues disponibles, veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique VEG et suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Para recetas veganas internacionales gratuitas y para disponibilidad de idiomas, visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada VEG y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Για δωρεάν διεθνεί vegan συνταγέ και για διαθέσιμε γλώσσε, παρακαλούμε δείτε supermastertv.com κάθετο VEG και supermastertv.com κάθετο schedule.